Why can't you see the basket? Hey guys, um, I actually forgot to do an intro, so I'm doing an intro way later from after I filmed the previous footage, but welcome to or welcome back to my channel diamonds you can't afford it's your girl diamond in today's video as you guys can see by the title down below today is a come hygiene shopping with me slash hygiene haul and we're going to target so let's go <laughs> diamonds you can't afford okay guys i seen this one youtuber girl using this I was like, ooh, that looks cool. So comment down below and let me know if you guys use this because I want to try this. But first I need to know how it works. So comment down below if you use this or if you tried it or anything and let me know. Hey guys, so I'm picking up this because I heard this works works well to grow your hair. So we're going to try this. Let me know if you guys use it and how it works. Thank you a lot. If you guys are wondering, this is the razor I use. This is gray. Depending on which one of these I should get. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try these. This YouTuber girl I watched, she uses these and she said they were really good. So I'm gonna get these. So y'all know I'm in target with my mom. Why she been yelling at me? Make sure you're filming, make sure you're filming. Girl, I can't do this. <laughs> no, this is like so awkward. And then for some reason I can't shop and film at the same time. Like <sighs> I need to get my life together. Maybe I should have brought my tripod, but mm mm. -mm. Oh, this isn't a part of hygiene. Look at how cute these throw blankets are. I want them so bad, but I have too many. I don't know what to do. Comment down below if I should say YOLO and just get it. You know, if you guys use any of these, I recently bought this one and I have yet to try it, but I heard they're really good. Or do you guys prefer like the soap kind or the bar soap kind? Let me know. What you guys will see later on in the video is I recently bought this, but like the cleanser. And now I need a moisturizer. So let me know what kind of moisturizer you guys use down below. Oh my God, it's been such a long time since I've actually sat down and did a video. This feels kind of weird because y'all know I disappear every single month. But no, I'm about to get back to the bag, get some bomb content out for you guys, and I want you guys to stay tuned. But that's not what you guys came here to see. You guys came here to see what I got in this hygiene haul. So I went to Target today. And I got a bag full of stuff. Um, the reason I only have one bag is because some of the stuff that I use, I had recently bought like a couple of weeks ago. Or I didn't need a refill on it. Excuse this bun. Y'all know like the messy one type vibe. That's what I'm going for. But anyways, so I know you guys are wondering like, girl, what do you use? What do you use? So now I'm about to give it to you guys. And first, we're going to start off with hair care. So as you guys know, I usually... 99.9% .9 of the time, I have my hair in braids. But as you guys can see, the braids aren't there, babes. But I'm going to show you guys the products I use. So starting off with shampoo, I recently got into the Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils line. And I absolutely love this line. Like ever since I started using this, my hair has just been so much better. So I definitely recommend on Jackie's um, hair care line. So this is the moisturizing and softening uh, shampoo. Works so good, so good. So this is what I use for shampoo. And then for conditioner, 
it's not like this kind, you know, in the bottle. This is more like, let me just open it and show you guys like this. Um, this is the conditioner. I absolutely love this and all of her products smell so good. And this is also a moisturizing and softening. So it looks like this. And then next, I used her leave-in conditioner, also moisture and um, hydration because I don't know about you guys, but my hair is so dry. So I always have to find the products that have moisture and hydration. But to be honest with y'all, my hair is still be dry. But you know, it's okay. But anyways, this is what the leave-in conditioner looks like. And all of these products are very affordable. All of them are under $10. So you guys should definitely check them out. And then I don't know about you guys' hair, but mine is always, always, always tangled. So for detangler, I use, it's called Knot on my watch, like literally K-N-O-T. And this helps so well, like this really detangles your hair. And then actually, let me show you guys the blow dryer I use. 10 out of 10. The first time I used the brush, it was absolutely amazing. Also for the Aunt Jackie's um, line, I buy mine at Target. I'm not sure where else you can get it from, but I know you guys can get it at Target. So now for the blow dryer that I use, I use the Revlon detangling brush. And when I tell you guys, this brush will save your life in 10 minutes. Like after using this, hair is all the way detangled. Like this right here is a lifesaver i got mine at ulta for 40 dollars, so i definitely recommend that if you guys are trying to detangle your hair because that right there will save your life so now moving on to hair growth oils i use i know a lot of you guys have heard of this is wild growth and a lot of people say this works but like i don't know you know, like when a product just don't give what it needs to give. I feel like that's this, like for me personally. So I've heard about this oil actually, and it's the Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Strengthening Oil. And a lot of people say this works for hair growth. So I'm definitely going to try this. Let me know if you guys have this or you tried this and it worked because I'm tired of wasting my money on products that don't work. So let me know if you guys use this and if it worked or not. And then I also picked up from Miel this rice water um, moisturizer. And this is also supposed to help your hair grow. And then I got a shine mist. It um, shines your hair, duh. But it also says that it helps grow. And I heard rice water is really good for your hair, for hair growth. So let me know if you guys have tried this or if you guys try the regular rice water and if it works or not because y'all know <laughs> trying to get those inches so comment down below some good hair oils that you guys know if you guys use rice water any type of hair growth tips vitamins any of that put those in the comments for me and for other people just in case they're looking for the same thing as me so yeah so let's move on to skincare now Okay, so now for the skincare part, as you guys can see, skin is not clear. Um, I really don't have a skincare routine. Every single product I've tried, it doesn't work. <laughs> I've tried CeraVe, um, what's that? Noxzema, Cetaphil, all of that don't work. It can, please ignore the sliding changes. It's really getting on my nerves. I don't know what the problem is. But recently, I have I picked this up at Target like two weeks ago. It's the Pan Oxo um, Acne Foaming Wash. And I tried this only once. i telling you. I just want my skin to clear up on its own. Why should I have to use a product? But um, when I first tried this, I liked it. It did burn a little and it turned my skin like red around my nose. But besides that, I'm going to have faith in this once I get to using it. But yeah, so this is the cleanser that I used once. The next thing is, okay, so I have really, really dry skin. If you guys can see, my nose is oily right now because I had to put this on because 
dry. So I use Aquifer um, Healing Ointment as a moisturizer, or sometimes I'll use Vaseline. You guys can use any kind. This is the cocoa butter kind. You know, they have the regular kind. I don't know what else kinds they have, but I use these two for moisturizers because the dry skin, no, no. And especially because right now it's winter, terrible. And then the last thing I use for skincare is these. Oh my God, when I tell you guys, these are the holy grail. This will get rid of a pimple in like three days. These are the Mighty Patches. They have um, a variety of packs, but this is just the one that I get. It's the original at Target. I'm pretty sure you can find these probably all over the place, but I get most of the stuff from Target. But these right here come in clutch every single time. I'm so glad that I discovered these from watching a YouTube video because they are a lifesaver. So I definitely recommend that you guys try these because if you have a pimple and you need it gone, put one of these on and you're good. So as you guys can see, that section was very, very But anyways, now we are going to move on to the teeth care, oral care. Yeah. Okay, now for teeth care, I'll start off with the mouthwash. So to be honest with you guys, I've always loved that one brand, Scope. That has always been my favorite. Like, I don't know what it was about that. But I decided to switch over to TheraBreath. And I've tried the light pink one and the light blue one. I couldn't stand the pink one, no. So today at Target, I picked up Rainforest Mint. Let me know if you guys have tried this one. I've never tried this one. I'm excited to try it because... I need to find the perfect one because the pink one, as I said, I didn't like that one. The light blue one was okay. But yeah, so let me know if you guys have tried Rainforest Mint because it's the one I'm going to use. And the next time I do an updated video or if I'm doing something like a morning routine or like one of those, I'll tell you guys how I like it. So yeah, that's the first thing. And then the next thing I picked up, I usually use the, um, what is it called? The tongue brushes that Target sells. I'll insert a picture here if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But I recently watched this YouTuber and she um, brought up these things called Grin. And they're tongue cleaners and you just use one, you throw it away, you use one, throw it away. So I also picked up these at Target today and I'm excited to try these. So yeah. The next thing I use, you know how you guys have to cover your toothbrush or something? I just use the Steripod ones like this. Nothing too fancy. And then um, these are Oral-B Cross Action All-in-One toothbrushes. Because you guys know how you have to keep um, switching out your toothbrushes. So I use these. To be honest, I don't have like a specific brand I use. I just go to the aisle, pick up one, pick up one, pick up one. So this is what I have at the moment. Um, I went from using this one that was in this red Colgate bottle. Didn't like it. So I recently picked up this two-step Crest 3D white one. Step one is like the toothpaste and then the step two is the whitening gel. And so I have yet to use this because my mom recently picked me up oops, this one and I absolutely fell in love with this one because this right here, 10 out of 10. This is probably what I'm gonna use and continue to use like forever because the Brilliance Vibrant Peppermint, 10 out of 10 recommend. Like if you guys have not gotten this, please go get this. This is the best toothpaste I've ever tried. And so um, then there's also this, which is like a step two, but it doesn't necessarily like say step two, is the Hydrogen Peroxide Whitening Boost. And now the funny story is, if you guys picked up on this, this two-step is actually what the same thing as this like you guys see these both say brilliance and then these both say whitening booster so it's basically the same thing so now i have two of the same things just like in different forms so yeah but um this is definitely what i'm gonna stick with because i absolutely love these so I think that's all for teeth care. Now we're going to move on to body care. 
So the first thing I'm going to start with for body care is perfume because when I tell you guys I am obsessed with perfume, I need a new one every single week. So I was just going to pick like my t um, top three faves and I was like, no, no. I can't do that to the girls. I got to give them all of the ones I use because I got to put y'all on. So when somebody's like, oh my God, you smell so good. Like who told you about this perfume? This what? I messed up what I was saying. Who told you about this perfume? You got to tell them diamonds you can't afford it. Go subscribe to her channel. You guys know. We got to help each other out work together in this. So, I have... Why does this keep happening? I have all of the perfumes right here. I know you guys can't see, but I'm going to pick them up and show you guys. So, I think I'm going to go in order because why not? So this right here, this right here. When I tell you guys, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite. It's the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is my go-to perform. Why do I keep saying perform? This is my go-to perfume. Like, if you guys are ever wondering what I have on nine times out of 10, it's the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Whatever you guys do, please, 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 Go get this perfume. I absolutely love it. 10 out of 10. So that's my first favorite. And then this is hard. Um, I feel like my second fave would have the way I can't even pick because this right here. I prefer this over anything else. Anything else. Um, yeah, the rest of these aren't gonna be in order because I don't know. <laughs> The second perfume that I have is this Ariana Grande Cloud. It's such a cute bottle. Let me know if you guys have any of the other Ariana Grande perfumes because I want to get into her other ones that she has because her bottles are so cute. I don't know if you guys have seen this one. I want that one so bad, but I haven't smelled it yet. I'm praying that it smells good because it's so cute. Like the bottle is... 10 out of 10. But this is Ariana Grande Cloud. If you guys know what Baccarat is, this smells exactly like that. Um, You know what? I'm going to rate them for you guys. So this, you guys already know, 10 out of 10. This, I would say, this smells really good and it's long lasting. Like Later on in the day, my family will be like, you still smell so good. And it's because this right here, this perfume... So this one I'm going to rate like an 8 out of 10. The next one I have is the Perfect Marc Jacobs. As you guys seen in my... What video was that? The Christmas gift guy. I had said you guys could ask for this. this is the Perfect Marc Jacobs. But for me, this one doesn't really last. Like it smells really good. But like the lasting of it... For me personally, it doesn't really last, but it's still good. Um, this one I would rate like an 8 out of 10 too. The next one that I have is Victoria's Secret Teas. I recently ordered this like a week ago, two weeks ago. And this smells really good too. Um, What is it called? I would recommend this one too. This one's... Seven, eight. And then the next one is this Valentino. You got I'm sure you guys have seen this. Literally, everybody has this one. Me personally, this is one. Excuse the dust on and I don't use this one. Um, me personally, this is okay. But as you guys can see, I don't use it. Um, this one I haven't worn in so long, so I can't even rate it because I don't even remember it. And then I have the Tiffany Love. This smells so, so, so good. This one I would give like a nine. I definitely recommend this one. This one is super good. It smells so good. And then the last one that I'm sure a lot of you guys know about is the Chance Chanel. If you guys can't see, it's the pink one. This, I would say, is really strong, like, grown lady, like, not like old lady, but like grown lady, like up there. So this one I would give like a six, seven. But as you guys know, this is a lot of people's favorite. But for me, it's okay. 
But um, I would recommend that one too if you like strong, like grown smells. But this right here, if you guys don't take any other advice from me, please go get the Blooming Bouquet Miss Dior. This is so good. So that is it for the um, perfume section. Let's get on to the rest of body care. Okay, so now for like the body care, I'm not going to go in any order. I'm just going to grab stuff and show it to you guys. So the first thing that I use or deodorant that I use, I use the Dove kind like this. And it's not the gel kind. It's like, oops, the regular kind like this. Um, I don't have a specific one that I use like every single time. I'm the type of person I just go in, smell it, make sure it smells good, and then I get it. So this one right here is the revive kind this one smells really good i recommend this one and then let's see the next thing for shaving that i use is the gillette venus two in one cleanser plus shave gel this i 10 out of 10 recommend this is such a good um what do you why am i losing my train of thought about everything like, we're going to go with what it says, a shave gel. This I recently picked up like two months ago. This I 10 out of 10 recommend. This is really good for shaving. And then, you know, for exfoliation, yes, I'm one of those that uses the Tree Hut scrubs. This one is the Frosted Sugar Cookie, and this one smells so good. I absolutely love this one. It's like, um super like a sweet smell like why do i keep saying like <laughs> um this is just really good i really like this it smells so good and then another exfoliator that i used to use is the dove exfoliating body wash body polish it's pomegranate seeds and shea butter this i liked but the consistency of it like It was really, um, what would you call it? I don't know how to explain it, but this, so a lot of people do use this, but me personally, I wouldn't recommend. I say just go with the Tree Hut Scrub Six Filet because this just makes a mess and just no, no. Um, for lotion, I use the typical basic Baby Magic, nothing special. I don't use the scented ones because me personally, I don't like to put like scented lotion on my face because you know, the, um, the scented stuff tends to break me out. So I'm just like, no, I'll just use a regular baby lotion. So yeah, that's what I use for lotion. And then getting into, um, what is it called? Getting into... Body wash. There we go. There we go. There we go. So I use the basic Dove original soap bars. And I'm the type of person that uses the soap bar and um, like the liquid form on top. So I'll do the regular Dove original for the soap bar. And then um, depending on what day it is, I'll use this coconut coffee. This smells so good. It smells exactly like coffee. Some days I'll use this or um what i recently got into is method i'm sure you guys have heard of that it went viral on tiktok but i'm like in the middle if i really like the method so this time when i went to target i'm trying something new and it's the dove soothing care so this is what i'm going to try it smells so good but i've been using the method um to go on top after I'm done washing with the bar soap. And I'm going to try this. For shaving, um, I use this razor that I showed you guys in Target. This is the Holy Grail. When I tell you guys, please, please, please invest in this. And then for the top of the razor, you just buy these Hydro Silk Sensitive Care. Um, what is it called? Razor head or blades. Blades and just switch them out you know and what else um for you know down there i either use this or the uns 
sensitive or unscented or the sensitive or you guys know the honey pot um brand i'll use that and then for the last two things for panty liners i just use the always brand and then for pads i also use the always brand and i think that's it for everything that i use um i hope you guys enjoyed this video Comment down below for any of the categories, whatever you want to tell me that you use, if you recommend something, um, if you just want to share your routine for other people to see or like for me to see, comment it down below. Um, any recommendations, any comments, questions, concerns, opinions, feel free to comment it down below. Um, make sure you guys subscribe hit that subscribe button help your girl out hit that like button follow me on all my social medias down below in the description or in the intro make sure you guys follow me because i really want to do those videos where like i interact with my subscribers but i feel like y'all don't be following me on instagram so make sure y'all follow me here i'll give you all a few seconds okay you done following me and you guys never know, I might even follow you back. DM me and tell me you're a subscriber and I'll follow you back. Because why not? We're a family. Um, comment down below some video ideas because I really need video ideas. Even though I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret, right? Oh, God. Right here I have a whiteboard. I don't want you guys to see my video ideas because I want it to be a surprise. I have a bunch of video ideas and I just need to get to it. I've been lazy. I know I say this every single time that I'm going to come back and film, film, film. But this time, I really need to get to it. Um, so let me know any video ideas you guys have for me in the comments down below. If you guys didn't know, today is February the 3rd. If you follow me on Instagram or if you really know me. You guys know my 19th birthday was yesterday. So you guys know after this video, it will be my birthday vlog. I'm actually going, actually, no, I'm not even going to tell you guys where I'm going this weekend. You're just going to have to stay tuned for the vlog because it's going to be lit. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see this next video because I'm sure you guys are going to want to be there to see how I'm celebrating my 19th birthday this weekend. Um, What else? Y'all already know I got bangers on the way. So hit that subscribe button for the 50,000th time. Um, and I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.